Greg, how do you feel? It felt good, man. It felt good. Greg just kicked some ass at Frisbee. He's just sucking wind. Live from Luther College, Dave Matthews, man. <laughs> it's fun to be a human being. Walking, breathing, consuming. The range of emotions available, internally and externally. But what is the in-between? That is to say, just who is Greg Sherbron? To find the answer to that question, as it related to the 2019 Legit League season, I journeyed deep into the mouth of madness and heard nothing but mumbling. This is Sherbron. talking about again? Put it right there for now. Greg, what we are talking about today is your experience in the league in 2019. Mm -hmm. I just want you to give me the rundown of what you think happened in those events. Mm -hmm. Or what you remember, mm -hmm. um, or if you don't remember to the best of your ability what what probably happened. Yep. Um, so so week, week one, the kickoff, uh, one by Calvin. Were you there? No, was not there. Okay. Uh, any thoughts on what might have happened? I mean, he's sort of a an underrated or under the radar type player. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would just imagine that he came kind of. He's one of those guys that you just assume never practices, but shows up to the course and has a decent swing. So it's early season. It makes sense that he would kind of find his groove sooner than some others who really, really try it very hard this week. For week two, that winner, uh, I'm going to pull that up here in just a moment. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That was uh, Eric, that was the Joe Dirt Challenge. I believe you were there for that because I have some footage of you saying hello to us. So, uh, I'm going to grab my own chair too. But week two, that, that was where we played on the Niner and it's kind of an elimination tournament. Do you remember anything about that? Joe Dirt, uh, Eric won. All I can recall is that yeah, Eric had a good stretch there for a while, Pigpen, as I call him. Um, certainly. Thank you. <laughs> what is happening now? <laughs> Everyone just take a look under the table for a second. Wait, mostly at Greg's shoes. I just, yeah, I I can't remember the exact event. I just remember Eric uh, winning probably like three straight jackets or something mm -hmm. early in the season. Two or, two or three, and a total of three this year. Yes. And it kind of irked me that he would win, to be honest with you. <laughs> just because I didn't win a jacket, if you recall. I do. I am aware that you did not win a jacket. Yeah. Um, he right. <laughs> His car, he's like, I have the street. I have Bumper on this other car. Just now? <laughs> At the concert. And I'm just laughing. <laughs> he pulls up by me, who no doubt he goes, Was it bad? <laughs> Your that. bumper was in the street? No. <laughs> no, he, he hit the car. <laughs> the, uh, I hit the car, but it, it was not bad. <laughs> it, it was, but he didn't know until he got here because he didn't get out to check. Sounded, right. It sounded bad. But what was their damage? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. He doesn't know on the other car. I would say there's no damage on my car. <laughs> you are my name, man. Can you, can you, it sounded bad. Can you turn off the camera? He, he also went on to win in week three. Mm -hmm. So week three was just a traditional, normal game. Um, it was a little bit windy, a little bit cold. 
Um, so, and it looks like you were there. You finished tied for sixth. Any any thoughts? Six out of out of ten people. So near the top half. And you weren't there for that. Um, I was in that tie for sixth as well. I can't remember the exact conditions you're talking because you said it was cold and windy. Yes. I just, my memories from these, those times that he won, I, I swear to you, are just that I can't explain why he can win, especially when we were early in the, in the league, in this, this year, when we had about the same number of strokes. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I should have been able to outperform him. Um, I guess I'm happy for him. But I, I, again, I just, I remember being upset, actually, that I, that I couldn't win, win a jacket. You know what I mean. Greg, this I is a big you. one. I'm with you. Picking up what you're putting down. Never been more nervous right, over Greg, a button. Greg, you're waiting. Down. Time to start waxing, buddy. <laughs> Wax me! Bikini yes! Greg! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That was a perfectly good ball. It was for sure a line drive. Cora, we should have live suspension. Like you suspended. Like an and oh well. Okay, um, you were not there in week four, so I will not ask you about week four. But Ross won. What would you have said to Ross if you had been there in week four? It's good to see. Some new blood winning. I'll say that. Okay. Stop in the three P. Yep, that is that is very accurate. In week five, that was Brookview. You were uh, you were near last. You were just one shot out of participation. Any any remembrances? Brookview is Golden Valley. Okay. Kind of a parkland course. Yep. Is that the, it's the nice um, clubhouse and everything? Pretty yeah, nice they clubhouse. just redid the clubhouse like a year ago. A couple of years ago, maybe now. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain some of those rounds. Um, yeah, I can't really putt at this point. Um, Early in the year, you mean? Really, ever. Yeah, yeah all year. Um, and I feel like, yeah, nothing specific that stands out from that one. Right. Who did win, you said? Uh, John won in a playoff over Dill in like a, he made a putt over like a real bumpy patch on the practice green. Oh, so Brookview though, that was the time that I skipped out on the bar afterwards. Cause, that could be, yeah. Um, because of the bunion situation. So. Yes, wow, pulled that one out of your hat. I was, <laughs> that was gonna be my next question, but we'll, we've covered that, we'll cover that. Yeah. Is, is your fiance gonna come Sunday? I hope so. Good, I hope so too. I will edit yeah. that accordingly so it doesn't make you look. Is that what she calls cramps? Bunion? <laughs> oh, no, is that code? It's a bunion. I have a bunion. Bunion of, the, bunion. Bunion of the uterus. It's just she's having a hard time walking. It kind of sounds, kind of sounds like onion. What the? F she's home. She's watching yeah, Netflix right find now. Find a couch. She gonna yeah, for real. What the couch, fuck? chair, bed. There's she a lot. She's in a small house. How far she gonna travel? It's true. So what the fuck are you gonna go home for? Like We're getting free to apps tonight, like man. You, to yeah. you love apps. You do, and you love you free love apps. apps. I'm sorry. Wow. God damn it, Greg. All right, somersault down the roll, then. Down the hill. <laughs> down somersault the down the hill. That's your punch. <laughs> you, you call my niece and niece and niece and nephew, so either you roll down voluntarily, or I well, roll you You're going down this hill one way or another. <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of funny. It's okay. I'm sure it's hard to remember. Because I don't have a lot of memories. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's not that I have no memories. It's just specific. I'm not. I'm not Peyton Manning. You know. What do you mean by that? Photographic memory of the game. Mm -hmm. The ability to like tell you what he shot on every every hole. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I guess Tiger was the same way. It seems to me. They both are kind of able to go shot for shot. Audible by audible, mm -hmm. kind of tell you exactly what happened. 
week six, that was major number one, you were paired with Eric. Um, you guys finished just off the podium in the two-man kind of two-man scramble. Um, you both got kind of upset at a rough finish on nine because you both of you failed to get up and down from kind of a short distance. Good run. So, any memories of that? We finished second. You said no, 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 you finished. You board. finished fourth. Just off the podium. If you'd gotten up and down, you would have finished either second or third. If Geo plays well and Craig has one of his, you know, higher, like, really successful rounds, which he is want to do, clearly, uh, then it is pretty much game over for the rest of us. But at the same time, I think I really dragged the team down. You know, if you missed, <clears throat> it was almost like one of those mini golf holes where the holes at the top and everything else just trickled off and ours trickled off quite a bit. We couldn't make the putt. You know, he wins when he's by his, himself, but not when he's with me, I guess. Greg, is she nice? Bob got lessons and the guy was telling him like, How's your buddy? How's your work? Oh, no, but well, ours just got some podiatry issues. And he was having trouble. Uh, apparently, Eric she went to a, apparently, you, you live with her, what do you mean? Uh, apparently, a foot like, doctor, like, a podiatrist. And apparently, he was a looker. So, yeah. yeah. He was he was a looker? That's what she was doing. He was, was he a good doctor? <laughs> probably got a foot fetish. <laughs> that doesn't sound very nice. Like, so week seven was um, JC won kind of in a dominating fashion at Ponds at Battle Creek. The bigger thing that night was the fastest hole where we teamed up and I think Drew might have hit your tee shot and then one of you guys had to chip and putt um, at Ponds. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything about that? Compared we were sort of we sort of knew we were going to lose anyways. I would and you were going after Steve had basically like driven the green, and then yes. JC and Dennis. JC took a practice shot, I yeah. think. Yes, he did. And still had plenty of time to yeah, basically set what would have been a record if the Swedes or whoever it was had not been you know on a par five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I was... mean this was like faster than the pros just on a par four, mm -hmm. a short par four, albeit. Who's gonna go where? Cause we're gonna drive out there really quick. Greg, you're good. Look at him. Mm. Wow. If the man could putt, he'd have five jackets this year. But Is that fact? <laughs> spend seven hundred dollars on a driver, maybe split that up. Driver putter. Nothing else is He could have won some more jackets, but instead he spent it all on the driver. <laughs> <laughs> was that the first thing that she mentioned? No. It was in the second or the third. He's, like, really he's, not, he's not sure. He's like, well, maybe it was. It was. Why did you bring it up? I was. I, oh, he's good looking. It was a, a relevant point to the story. No, it really <laughs> wasn't. No, not at all. It, no, not at all. So Define the word relevance to me. I thought it would be an interesting point. It really wasn't, but thank you for well, bringing I it up. I think it was interesting. I'm, I'm I riveted. Think, I think it's kind of juicy, if anything. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. What do you mean he worked it out? So it she got out of <laughs> What is the texture of a bunion? <laughs> See, when you so a bunion. Greg, 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 I want to just like bunion. something else. You, you, know. you, like, you, you first say before you say anything about his looks that he worked it out. You already got our minds going one way, mom. And then you say he's a good-looking podiatrist. It's like a bonus. Like one like could only like assume that working it out. I don't know. That's what I'm. And good-looking. Go hand in hand. Go hand in hand. See where I'm coming from? I'm the type of guy that doesn't really like the motorcycle. You know. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're letting fucking good looking guy just touch up all the gym and work out a couple of bunions. Keller. Um, you were in my group, I believe. I happened to win that night in a playoff over uh, JC and Eric, I yeah. believe. Any, any thoughts on what took place that evening? For myself or for you? Seriously, what? what? I uh, jammed my clubs into my trunk and got a pretty deep, nasty cut. And then I reopened it today uh -huh. as I was rushing around the house. And... Uh, couldn't find the tape 
the athletic tape, so kind of some duct tape. You won, you said? Yes, I uh, won in a playoff. Yeah. I realize that if I'm going to wear a golf glove, you have to keep the fingers open. Otherwise, I would have taped around them. But you would have put duct tape around your fingers? Yeah. You know, like if I was playing basketball or frisbee. I think that might have been the night that I talked about how much you care about this. Um, which came across as a little bit insulting and, and backhanded. I just meant it as, you know, it's good that you win sometimes because you, you, you seem to care and, and not everyone cares as much. So <laughs> it's, it's good that you won. Um, I remember that you were very nice the whole evening uh, and helped me really like it's, sometimes it's good to have people like you or maybe preach in the group because they you offer words of encouragement throughout the round. Sound of music, ass motherfucker. JC was just playing pretty much lights out golf um, with the eagle, I think, on number seven or yeah. something like oh, that. There. Yeah. Uh, big moment. He for that, that round alone made me consider him for player of the year this year, but I did not go with him for player of the year. Do you care to divulge here who you voted for for player of the year? Steve Stove. Sure. I mean, if you finish number one in the points race, it's kind of what I'm gonna go off of. I don't know what to do about that, but it's, it's making me really uncomfortable. Birds mustard are delicious. Really? I'm a big mustard, I like mustard. This is a photo or a video? <laughs> it's always a video, Greg. <laughs> Why are there three mustards open in front of you? Well, I got the speak two up. hotel. I got the two hotels, Boys. and then the one house, and then I just need to spend. You on Broadway right I think now? It's 150 you more to Park get Park Place. The, the Monopoly. Park yeah. Place with all with all hotels. Major number three, the two by four. Um, you were partnered with Preach. Mm -hmm. Any any thoughts on how that went? We probably should not have even taken the putters, right? That's where you have to choose what clubs you would want. And uh, we just, we couldn't putt anyways. So we should have been using drivers, essentially. Um, it would have helped us out because we could have had a lot better short game. Just generally, we weren't necessarily even getting on in regulation and then we'd get on and have a putt that we could have made, but each time we seemed to miss it. We were frustrated, obviously, by the end of it. But again, good to play with the preach because he keeps it lively, if nothing else. <laughs> number four, paired with Steve, number one player in the league this year. Mm -hmm. um, you guys finished fourth, again, just off the podium. So any thoughts on what happened that night? It's more just kind of what, what was going on all year, I would say, you know, it's it's a shame to waste those opportunities with strong players in your group. You kind of, yeah, I just feel like, do, who won that one? Uh, Gio and John won in a playoff over myself and Craig. Ah, that was a rough playoff, I must admit. Um, the playoff... I don't know. I give I give you a hard time, and Craig gets a hard time. I would I would say uh, generally, and it, I actually wanted you guys to win. I did, hmm. but it's not. Yeah, not pretty. But you kind of feel bad. Uh, the other big thing that night was you told us all about your either your house or your engagement. I believe it was your engagement. Yes, that'd be correct. Um, oh, I didn't know that. I knew the first well, He's time. told us before. Well, so I need to get a out of it. And bought a house. It already Greg bought a house, everybody. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> oh, just saying, do you remember how it felt? Were you some of the first people you told publicly? or? Yeah, yeah I was. Uh, that, that was. You would have been some of the first people I told uh, publicly. I do remember it just felt good to tell 
yeah, a group of people, especially that includes some of my best friends or comrades, I should say, from the Luther days. Um, so to you know be surrounded by people like Dill and uh, Pigpen and Drew, and just have them like kind of unabashedly show love and support for for me in this. Fred, Fred, get this on video. Yeah, Jesus, look at this. Oh he's God. never worn a polo before. Was the collar tucked in? Yes, a hundred percent tucked in. <laughs> and he's got a cotton undershirt. On him. What are you doing? What's the point of wearing a athletic polo if you're gonna wear an undershirt underneath it? <laughs> it is kind of, it takes some getting used to, to talk about fiancés, wives, yada yada, um, but it's nice to see others see that for you, so yeah. Uh, week 19, Maxwell, that's the one where you toss out your worst score, back nine in Highland, you have a piece of the lead going up to 18, you drive your tee shot left, directly behind a tree. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember what happened after that? Yes, I, uh, I look at the ball and I look at the green and I, I sort of felt as though there was a little bit of a window but I was gonna have to somehow it's probably about 15 feet or so between me and the tree. And there's not a really good way to get spin on a ball or not even spin, but you know, just have it hook around a tree with that short of a distance between you and the tree. And also then bunkers behind and, but I sort of thought I could do it. And I also just felt like that's, that's an example for me where I'm, I'd rather try something new in a round where it's not about the jacket for me, it's more about being out there playing golf with friends and getting better at the game. So I kind of put the long-term goal of improvement uh, ahead of the short-term goal of winning the jacket. And the other thing I'll say is, and it's no offense to anyone, it's just if I win with eight or nine strokes, you know, it's not like I beat you or I beat Steve. So I just, I still am playing against myself, I guess is my point. And I wanted to see if I could make that shot. And the funny thing is I clearly could not. It hit off the tree, bounced straight up off the road, probably hitting or coming close to hitting a few cars. And then I landed across the road, um, at which point, yeah, obviously game over. But that's, you know, hopefully I've learned something for the Tour Championship. That's what I'll say. Sure. You know, though, if you, if you do beat us with eight or nine strokes in league play, that is, it's still winning. Is it not? It's still winning based on the rules of the game um, and the way the rules have been set up. But I just personally wouldn't know, you know, well, okay. I won, but I have some room for improvement still, you know? Sure, that's fair. And that's obviously, it, it all, it's all good. It's just, I want to get as low as I can in the, in the long term. <laughs> <laughs> the darkest corners of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's dark, I don't want to go that dark. Dude, I heard you sleep in like a, in like a, a drawer. <laughs> <laughs>
Geo 1, and you finished just outside of um, participation. Any memories? Within my group, I mean, I played pretty. Excuse me. I played pretty poorly, but uh, even if within my group, I still had a chance. It seemed like coming into the last hole, um, which just maybe tells you something about the level of play that night. Um, who won again? Geo. Geo. Yeah. By but one. Yeah, but but that group was yeah. By the time we showed up to the last green, it, I think he was at six mm -hmm. under. Or, and somebody else might have been at 500 in that group, but so we were way out of it as a as a foursome. Um, that was the night JC broke his phone. I never really saw it. Don't know exactly what happened other than he just apparently played terribly, which you know, swing. He has he's somebody who can play amazingly well, and then someone who, who kind of has a maybe not as consistent as somebody like Steve or, or you, um, but still wouldn't want to be playing against him in a major or any time really. Um, anyways, shame to see his phone meet its end in that way. I'm sure we, uh, the, the speculation was just kind of, will that hurt his chances of golfing in the league in the future? Do you think it will? No, I mean, it seems like, he, no, I think he's in for the long haul, yeah. Um, so when you remember the 2019 regular season, what will you remember the most? It was my first full year <clears throat> in the league. Um, I think that I will remember not getting a jacket this year, <laughs> unless I win one tomorrow, which, hey, anything can happen. I want to say, you know, I played pretty consistently. Uh, not played pretty consistently, but was there pretty consistently. Um, I will remember the times where I felt bad for not showing up to the bar. and I. Don't want anyone to fear for the league's uh, longevity. It'll be here next year. I am quite confident of that. Um, and the the bar is important, but it's not. You know, we, we're getting older, and we can't always go to the bar. That's just the way it's going to be. Yep. A lot of kids, a lot of a lot of houses in this league now. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Do you have a favorite memory, either an individual performance or a, a situation you found yourself in? Um, kind of something that was when you look again back on the year and you're like this is kind of why I do this every week mm. I mean I was very much incredibly appreciative of, of Preach's sort of pastoral care uh, that night at Peppers and Fries it was where we started talking about vocational direction in our lives and uh, I got a little bit serious and um, he noticed that shifted and all of a sudden we were in a very serious conversation about what I do for a living and the next day though I had I mean so there was some existential crisis but the next day I had one of the best info sessions I've ever had felt rejuvenated and I think that you know friends and people that you can just have fun with and play golf with, and then, but also at the same time have serious conversations with. Uh, you can't, there's no value, monetary value to that. It's, it's incredibly valuable and it makes life better.